We have some clues that will lead us to the mysterious world of prostate cancer. Today we want to talk about the factors that can increase the risk of prostate cancer. We discussed prostate cancer in previous videos, so now let's check the risk factors. Anything that raises your chances of getting a disease such as cancer is a risk factor. But don't get stressed if you have these factors. Having one of them, or even several, does not mean that you will get this disease. Age as we mentioned in our previous video, age is a really important factor. If you are younger than 40, you are probably safe. Well, at least safer than the men who are more than 45. About 6 in 10 prostate cancers are found in men older than 65. So, don't get old. Race Surprisingly, your race can affect the risk of this cancer. Unfortunately, prostate cancer develops more often in African-American men and in Caribbean men of African ancestry than in Asian, Asian-American and Latino men. But researchers cannot find out what is the reason for this difference between races. Family History Although most prostate cancer occur in men without a family history of it, genetic factors cannot be ignored. If your family has a history of prostate cancer or even breast cancer, the risk of getting prostate cancer for you will increase. A father or a brother with prostate cancer will double a man's risk of developing this disease. Diet The effects of diet on prostate cancer are not clear, but if you consume a lot of dairy products, saturated fat, calcium, and well-done meats, the risk of getting prostate cancer gets higher. Studies show that dietary vegetable intake, soy products, coffee, and multivitamin have no specific effect on it. So, eat them freely. Obesity Obesity does not seem to increase the overall risk of getting prostate cancer, but it can result in a higher risk of getting more aggressive, faster-growing prostate cancer, and won't cause a higher risk of getting a low-grade, slower-growing form of this disease. Some studies showed that men with obesity have a higher risk for having more advanced prostate cancer and of dying from it. But not all studies. By the way, better safe than sorry. Smoking it doesn't have a big effect on it, but some researchers has linked smoking to a small increased risk of dying from prostate cancer, but not all the studies. But don't smoke, it can lead to other diseases and other types of cancers. Chemical exposures Obviously, exposure to some chemicals might increase prostate cancer risk, for example, arsenic and pesticides. Pesticides are chemicals that help plants grow by controlling pests like weeds and bugs. Although they are helpful in many aspects, but research has found that the risk for people exposed to high levels of pesticides are higher. Sorry to say that, but if you are a firefighter, there is a risk that you get prostate cancer because of the exposed chemicals that you deal with. Inflammation of the prostate Prostatitis Inflammation of the prostate gland may be linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. Inflammation is often seen in samples of prostate tissue that also contain cancer, but it is still an active area of research. Sexually transmitted infections Studies have had conflicting results, but some sexually transmitted infections that lead to inflammation of the prostate might increase the risk of prostate cancer. Vasectomy Vasectomy is a minor surgery to make men infertile. Some studies have suggested that men who have a vasectomy have a slightly increased risk for prostate cancer. So, before doing any surgery, consider its risks. The actual cause of prostate enlargement is unknown, and all we can do is to trust some factors that are just possibilities. We will talk about men's health in upcoming videos, so wait for them.
Thanks for joining us and please like this video and subscribe for more. Hope you never face this cancer. Bye!